Right, I have got a 180 centimetre problem. I've just had a text from DPD saying my table is going to be delivered today and I haven't even cleared the space yet or been to Argos to pick up a power drill because the reviews tell me I need a power drill. It's nine o'clock's not there. It's nine o'clock and I need to go to Argos. And we're off, let's go get this drill, otherwise I'm going to be screwed. No pun intended, but that was great. They've been open for one minute, so they're going to hate me. Surely that's all I need. Yeah, that's plenty. Of course it wasn't going to work. I think I was too early for the machines, the machine weren't working. We got there though, we got there. Secured. Now I've got to go and clear all that space in that garage, which is going to be the biggest pain in the ass. It's supposed to be here Wednesday. Let that charge up for a bit. Now I'm of course not going to complain that this table has been delivered like three days earlier than expected. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days earlier than expected, but I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Didn't go to the car boot sale today, woke up and it was raining, so I didn't bother and I'm glad I didn't because it gives me a chance to sort this out. I need to clear this here and that under there. It doesn't sound like a big job, but I've got to put it somewhere while I do something, understand? And I've also got to build the table outside, then hopefully try and bring it in here. It's heavy. But I still have my normal day-to-day -day jobs to do in between that. Now, a chap on Vince had never met him before has ordered something and he wants it by Friday for a fancy dress party. So I said, I'll do that for you, bro. And he invited me to his fancy dress party in Barcelona. So I'll see you there, David. Cheers, mate. It's the Australia top, 9 dollars I think I paid eight quid on Ricky Stream. I thought about putting this off for as long as I could, but I had to get the inevitable done. There was no way I could progress with building this table until that shelf at least was cleared and out of the way. And as you know, it is wedged in there. Well, the shelf is empty, so that's one good thing. Not a bad start. But when I tell you I fit this within, I had to literally create a space. There was no space. I had to wedge it in to the gaps just here. I had to wedge it. Wedged, wedged, wedged. I had no intention of pulling this back out, so I'm hoping it comes. I'm hoping it comes out. It's moving everything. This was not supposed to come out. Well, I pushed on one side and pulled on the other and it's pulled most of it out, but this it's getting caught on something. That. I reckon this is gonna be easier than I thought. Oh, blow me. Blow me down and call me Charlie. I've got to put all this somewhere first. I'm not taking this down in case DPD are late. Let me actually check. Is it actually today? I need to check. I need to check. Yeah, it is. It is. I'll start doing things and I'll start panicking that I've gone too far. So that's out. I've got to take that table down and move all them boxes somewhere. If it was a lovely day outside, it wouldn't be such a problem. If you're not naked, you're on camera. If you're not naked, you're on camera. Because it's okay moving all this stuff under here. Look, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if the weather was sweet, I wouldn't care. But it's got to be done. I could just leave that until the last minute, I suppose. Tell you, that table takes 10 seconds to pull down. Yeah. Let me unplug the mun bin for the first time ever. I'll leave that there until the table gets here. Yeah. I don't know who the hell I think I was kidding. Of course I couldn't leave it. There was a job preventing me from moving forward. I had to get it done. I couldn't let that sit. Most of you that know me by now know that if there's anything standing in the way of progress, I have to do it. So I had to do it. I had to get it done. That's empty. That takes five seconds to pull down. So once I've built the new table, I'll put it up. It better be good. I'm just so looking forward to not hunching over. This, I'm 6'1". I'm I think, what was the last time I measured? I'm getting old, hunching over. Six one. And this table, it's like lower than groin level. So when I'm working, I'm hunching over. I want to be able just to go. I'm so looking forward to that. Hopefully it's going to fix my back issues, but we'll see. We shall see. I'm going to be honest, but we do have a bit of time to kill between now and then. So let's try and pick and pack some orders because this garage is upside down. I'm sure we'll cope. I'm sure we'll find ways to do it. No, my printer's unplugged. I don't know what to do. Ah, shh. Plug it back in. Plug it back in. We've done one vintage order, which was the Australia top. 
Second one to go out is the North Face Gilet. I bought this for myself off Ricky Stream for I think 38 quid. Bought it for myself, so I didn't mind paying that. But it actually doesn't fit me, so I've sold it. 40 quid, vintage. So I've got my money back plus two quid. And somebody else got a nice little bargain. That's a really smart top. I'm gonna have to plug this printer back in. Done, we're working with the printer off of the floor. I wish you could see that, shot. The Max just died. Better plug this in for Dan, otherwise I'll be in big, big trouble. Need to find my remote though, because I'm not a fan of it flashing like a disco. My little mug full of remotes. Is it that one? Nope. Is it that one? Yes. How's green look? Hmm. Blue? Wasn't it working? Huh? Oh, is that changing? Is there something fading going on? Don't know where the remote sensor is. What is going on? Oh, it's there. Okay, so if we go here, so remote sensor's there. I like. I want it to fade. There we go. Let's have it, let's have it fading. All right, Matt looks back on. How very annoying. What have you found? Oh, there it is. Good find, darling. Daddy? Yes, darling? I'm just going to do some work first, baby. Let me get it done and then I'll come be with you. You can stay around there. Just don't get hurt. Right, up on eBay. Yesterday, I ended loads of stuff, reduced all the prices, and then sold similar, and they all sold. Some of the, not they all sold, but a few things sold. Very low value items that have been sitting around for ages. So let's move over to that. For a total of £6.30, we have these Coca-Cola coasters. I paid £1.50 from a charity shop. They've sat around forever. Ended item, reduced the price, sold similar. They sold in 20 minutes. This one has sold to the lovely Cassie. Costamonga Cass on socials. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate this. I picked this up for three pound, I think, and I've sold it for 10 pounds plus postage. Not a lot of profit, but it did bring the spend down on the charity shop that I purchased things that day. That's all this was, and it's going to a great home. Thank you, Cassie. For 10 pounds 80 now, we have this Schleck Eldoror Scorpion type thing, whatever it is. Really, really cool. If I was to collect Schleck or Schleck, however you want to say it, this would be the kind of stuff that I would collect. But I don't. Ten pounds eighty, all in. Pennies, this cost me. One pound from the charity shop. It still has half the sticker on there, and I did leave it on there in the listing. I had high hopes for this, but it didn't quite live up to expectation. Sold for eight pounds, free postage. After fees and postage, make a couple of quid. And the weather is obviously confusing people. We are supposed to be in the height of summer, but it is absolutely freezing at the moment in the UK. So we have sold a 12 Days of Christmas Laura Ashley mug. I have partially wrapped it. I wrapped it more than that. That's how I store my mugs. I pre-pack them. Pennies paid, sold for £10.80, free shipping. Merry Christmas. I think Christmas, I know it's not Christmas, but the weather doesn't, does it? So that is all the sales that we have going out today. I'm going to get those packed up and then sit and wait patiently for my table. Are you okay? Have you hurt yourself? See you when the table gets here. Put it where it's got to go. Good job. And that's that job all done. And I had some fantastic help as well. Thank you so much, darling. Ow, you hit me in the... All them packets, nice and stats, lovely. I had to put the stickers on. Beautiful job. Thank you. My name's Aidy Michels. Bless her. Oh, it's 11.14 again. I'm going to find it today. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I fucking found it.
I found it. Yes, I'm so happy. Well, I think it's an absolute load of shit as well. So that can go in the bin. It's knackered, it's tatty. Nobody's going to want to buy it. So that can go over there. Months and months that has been tormenting me. Months. Yes, no more 11.14 annoyance. It's here. The bit, with this delivery, yeah, with this delivery here, yes, is there another piece? No, I have just a one, sir. What? One, uh, one parcel. I have you look. No, I believe you. I believe you. I have just, uh, it's supposed just to come one. with a tabletop as well. Oh, maybe it's inside together. No, it's too big. <laughs> the tabletop's like a big one. Uh, so sorry for that. That's I okay. No problem. One. It's not nothing to do with you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Bruh. But I've, I don't know. <sighs> don't understand. I need to look into this. So, I've just done some research. <clears throat> you might recall that I said it's coming really early. And I was quite happy and surprised about that. And this is nothing to do with Flexi Spot, it's not their issue. Because all the information was given to me. But uh, he's coming in two parcels, and the second parcel is with FedEx on Monday. Now, I've watched all the installation videos for this, I know how you've got to do it, and you can't just build that and wait. So, now what I've got to do is wait, wait. Amongst all of this mess. Again, nothing to do with Flexi Spot. Obviously, DPD handle the big packages. There's a massive unit thing coming, so probably FedEx are the best person to handle a big slab of wood. Which is fair. But annoying. <laughs> but fair. I just read it as it's coming. I've got a text on my phone saying, coming today. So I thought, right, yes, boss. Oh, well. The basis here, at least. Maybe tell me that before I get it. Not when I get it. In all fairness to them, they did tell me. I had the DPD notification and I had the FedEx notification. See you tomorrow.